we can see here the mons pubis, the pubic symphysis, the urinary bladder, and the urethra opening up into the vestibule. Here is the uterus, the cervix, the vagina, again opening up into the vestibule. The rectum, here is the anal canal and the anus, and here is the sigmoid colon. Right over here we have the peritoneum. Here is the muscular wall of the urinary bladder, the detrusor muscle. You can see the mucosa represented here by the squiggly line. This opening becomes the urethra, which is going to open up at the vestibule of the vulva. Take a closer look at the uterus. We can see that you can divide it into layers. Uh, the outer layer is the perimetrium, thick muscular wall of the uterus is the myometrium. The mucosal lining of the uterus is referred to as the endometrium. You can divide the uterus based on its shape. This dome-shaped part of the uterus is referred to as the fundus. Most of the rest of the uterus is simply referred to as the body of the uterus. And then right over here there is a cylindrical part this is referred to as the cervix, and you can see the tip of the cervix extending into the vagina. You can see that the passageway through the cervix has an external opening. This is referred to as the external os, and there is an internal opening, which is referred to as the internal os, and this would then be the cervical canal in between those two openings. Right over here, between the urinary bladder and the uterus you have this pouch right over here and this pouch is referred to as the vesico uterine pouch so again that's right over here that's the vesico uterine pouch right over here because of the way the cervix extends into the vagina you have this gutter that surrounds the cervix and it is referred to as the fornix finally if we consider the relationship of the uterus to the rectum, which is posterior to the uterus, right over here, this is the deepest part of the abdominal pelvic cavity. This is referred to as the recto-uterine pouch. And again, this is the deepest point of the peritoneal cavity.